What's going on, my comrades? It's your boy, Frank and the Furious, bringing you some more Milwaukee Dreadnoughts franchise mode. We are beginning the 2021-2022 season. Excellent to see. I've added the lines. Let me show you. So, first line, we're keeping together of Yanni Gore, Jared McCann, Andres Janssen. This line has been amazing so far, so I have no reason to tamper with it. Second line, this is where Kabanov is going to slot in. And I changed him to a playmaker because I'm iffy about him developing as a two-way forward. Because if he develops as a two-way forward, he's probably not going to capitalize on his scoring as much as I would like. So we're going to have, have him play as a playmaker. He can still be really good defensively, but for the most part, I want Kabanov for the offense and we're going to get that out of him. Yeah, Kabanov will be aligned on the same line with Jordan Cairo jumps up the second line center and Brett Connolly. Sadly, the line does go plus uh does go down to a plus one. So that kind of sucks to see. Um I, I part of it's really Cairo. Actually, I don't think it's Cairo, because Eric Stahl, yeah. If I switch these two, yeah, it doesn't really change anything. So it, it is how it is. The third line, we got Oscar Lindblom with Eric Stahl and David Perron, who I converted to a right winger. Perron's going to be playing down here on the third line uh, for now. I debated about switching him and Kabanov running with this setup. But you know what? I have faith in Kabanov. We're going to let the kid play in the top six. If he struggles out of the gate, you know what? We can switch up to Perron. We can Lind uh, switch up to Lindblom. Hell, we could even throw Stahl up there. And Kab Kabanov can play center. Yeah, he's, an, he's actually a really good center. He's better than Cairo. <laughs> but I want Cairo to play center right now so he can develop that uh, face-off stats. And fourth line, we got Kyle Clifford, who I think I converted to a left wing. I th or No, he might have already been a left wing. Uh, Zach Smith and Garnet Hathaway. The grind line rolls together once again. Well, not uh, once again. They, they've been like this. But over on defense is where we see good improvement. Mark Giordano, even though he's 37, he's an 88 top two defenseman. He's paired with Brandon Carlo. So, yeah, I mean, we all know how good that pair was in the playoffs. Uh, and the regular season last season, too. Second pairing, we got Jamie Drysdale developed up to a top four defenseman, which is excellent to see because, like I said before, Giordano's 37. So, yeah, the dude... Uh, he doesn't have a lot of time left in the NHL, let's just say. So we got Jamie Dreisel right back here to jump up in his spot. And on the third pairing, we got Marcus Nidavara and Jacob Larson. I am incredibly happy with this uh, deep pairing. Oh yeah, Dreisel was with Pesci. I don't think I said that. But this is, I think, the best defense we've had so far. I don't know we're only, what, this is season three, but... This, I'm very proud of, I'm very happy with this defense. How long does it stay together? Eh, it kind of depends if Nidavar wants to come back. Yeah, and same with Geo, our captain. But in net, we got the 90 overall Thatcher Demko after getting his big boy contract. Let's see if he can continue to ride his Vesna Trophy win with another good season. And back up, Yaroslav Halak. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep Halak the backup. Halak's not supposed to be playing. He's not supposed to be playing like 20 plus games. 25 max, I would say. Uh, God forbid something happens to Demko. But yeah, Demko should be getting the lion's share of starts. So I'm not too worried about Halak. Maybe he'll have a bounce back. If not, we can make a deal midseason. We, we can make a deal. Healthy scratches. Labar Hajek is here. Uh... I'm kind of torn on having him as a healthy scratch, especially since he's 23 and he's a top six defenseman. But yeah, I'm going to leave him as a healthy scratch. I will probably get an injury on that defense, like starting game one. So I'm not too worried. Also, Stefan Nason. Uh, I got to bring something up about with Nason later. But yeah, Nason and Chase DeLeo comes up for the minors and will be our healthy scratch center. Potentially jump into the top six if we see it. Uh, massive injuries up there. Down in Madison. Or wait. I forgot special thing. <laughs> oh, I'm a little excited. 
Uh, Yanni Gord is on the power, first power play unit is Yanni Gord, Eric Sarl, Andreas Janssen, Brett Conley, and Mark Giordano. Second unit is David Perron, Jared McCann, Jordan Cairo, Jamie Drysdale, and Oscar Lindblom. Now, I probably wondered why is Eric Stahl centering the first unit? Because if I move uh, McCann up here, yeah, that's one reason. And if I move Cairo up here, yeah, that's another reason. I, I want to get as much pluses out of this as I can. And besides, that's two very deadly units. Like, it, all of our... Te like... I, you, you, you can't just stop one of them. You can't just stop the first one because the second one's got Kyra and McCann on it. So, you gotta watch out for both. Four men, Eric Stahl, Yanni Gord, Mark Giordano, and Andres Janssen. Second pairing with Kyra, Connolly, Drysdale, and McCann. On the penalty, oh, on the penalty kill, we got Jared McCann, Oscar Lindblom, Brett Pesci, who's playing with Marcus Nidavara this year on the penalty kill for a plus five, which is excellent. And down here on the second unit, we got Zach Smith, Kyle Clifford, Brandon Carlo, and uh, Jacob Larson for a plus three, which is still pretty good. On three man, McCann, Pesci, Nidavara, Smith, Carlo. Larson, our penalty kill should be amazing in theory, which is why it won't be, because in theory it doesn't work in hockey. All right, four-man unit. First one is McCann, Janssen, Carlo, and Gio. A second unit of Stoll, Connolly, Drysdale, and Pesci. I decided to go with Stoll over Cairo because if we're on the four man, we're going to need a big goal, and I'm going to sway more towards the veteran to put out, out that big goal, especially since Stahl is still playing very well in his career. And yeah, the three man, we got Kairu, Gord, Nidavar, and Larson. Or a third four man. On the three man, McCann, Janssen, Geo, Stahl, Connolly, Pesci, and Kairu, Gord, Drysdale. Simple enough. On the extra attacker, Mark Giordano will go out if we need an extra skater. And if he's already out there, Andres Janssen will hit the ice. A shootout, Jordan Cairo will lead the shootout. Andres Janssen next with McCann, Gord, and Perron to follow if needed. Goaltenders, we already know. Yeah, a little excited. Yeah, down in Madison, Kirby Reichel, Jean Sebastian Dia, and Bo Bennett are all playing together once again. Second pairing, uh, second line, Jesus Christ. Good, yeah, Chabarov, Gartier, and Fontaine. Chubarov should hopefully make the NHL next season. He's trending definitely upward in a good direction. Hopefully, he continues to develop, and we will see him next season. I hope. Third line, Max Maximilian Cremier, uh, Daniel Odette, and Oscar Muller, my baby. And the grind line, now Wilkes vs. Grind, of Brandon Mashinger, Andrew Jardin, and Darren Archibald are still all together on defense. Mitchell Van de Sopel and P uh, Petri Lindbaum will lead the way this season as the first pairing. Second pairing will be Eric Gustafson and Hunter Drew. And the third pairing will be Bennett Klumchuk and Dylan Luyas. So, pretty similar defense, just kind of rearranged. Everyone except Blue Yes got bumped up a line. Blue Yes came down to the third as we lost our number one defenseman as he went up to uh, <laughs> he went up to the majors. So, yeah, uh, Bennett Klumchuk is going to be in there. He's 69 overall. We're going to hope he develops. We're really going to hope for that. <laughs> uh boy. Uh, I'm not going to go through all special teams here. But, yeah, in net, we got Louis Domingue and Roman Durney. Now the scratches, uh, Corey Trop, Spike Moses, my favorite name in this game so far, Julius Natitan, uh, Nelson Gabo, and David Bernhardt. So I signed Max Verno because I forgot we still had Stefan Nason under contract. I didn't I didn't remember. I didn't remember we had him under contract. So uh, at the beginning of the season, I'm going to flip him for like an unsigned prospect that I'm not going to sign. Just to correct the ship, because I I didn't mean to sign him. It was an accident. So whoops. Uh, nine game trial. Uh, I'm gonna say sure, but Gabanov's playing in the NHL. I don't care what you think, Pascal. 
Kabanov's playing. I like the kid. But yeah, I edited the scouts off screen. I am not giving you a first for Dustin Brown at this point in his career. Get away from me. Never offer me that again. You have insulted me and my family for the last time, buff a slug. I won't lie when I say when AHL 21 comes out, I'm thinking of a Buffalo playthrough. I'm really feeling it. Perhaps. I don't know. I've also thought a little about like the Coyotes. They could be fun, but enough of NHL 21. We're still on NHL 20, so let's join it up. This preseason is interesting. We're scoring a lot. Except in that Dallas game, we're scoring a lot. So that's nice to see. In Chicago, we got shut out by, oh boy. Uh, yep, we are. Fly it with the salary cap, I hope. I genuinely don't remember. We should be. Demko got a huge raise, so we should be. I already did scouts off screen. We are going to now try to flip Max Verano, probably to someone who needs him. Because, yeah, I don't need him. I, I also did not check whether he fit in the majors or not, because uh, it wasn't... I don't think it was going to be fair if I did. Got Verano. Uh, did the Ducks need him? Do you need another right winger? You seem fine. No, you, uh, yeah, you're fine. You got a lot of forwards already. Arizona, do you need him? And yes, I am going to do this. Uh... No, you, you, no, you got Pro Horkin in the minors. You don't need him. Uh, Chicago. I hate to benefit you since you're in our division and you're the luckiest team known to man behind Pittsburgh. <laughs> Booyah! No, you got Ryan Carpenter. What about the Avs? The good old Avs. No, you got Brandon Sutter in the minors. So why does everyone want Verano? I have too many forwards. Oh my god, Jason Dickinson. Jesus. Edmonton might need him. Does Edmonton need him? They got Toby Reader back. Yeah, they need him. <laughs> yeah, they need him. All right, Edmonton. We shall gift you Verano. And, uh... I'm just going to take one of your unsigned uh, skaters. Yeah, Captain Morgan. Sh sure, Cody. Yeah. There you go. Have fun, Verano. Have fun in Edmonton. Go score 300 goals with McDavid. Ah, good old H2O. Delicious. All right, let's sim to the end of October and let's see how we do at the start of the season with a nice 2 nothing win against St. Louis and then we lose to Nashville. That is not cool, guys. The Panthers, they, uh, the Panthers are on my mad, mad list right now, but uh, mad list, bad list. Uh, the Red Wings have already fired their coach. They're off to a great start out here. Jesus Christ, we just started October. How'd you already fire your coach? Did Stevie I just like forget to do that in the offseason and then went to game one and went, oh shit, he's still behind the bench. <laughs> how, how does that happen? Okay. I don't get it either. I don't get it either, dear viewer, as we're going to overtime a lot. We're going to shootouts a lot. If Brett Conley wants to talk about his ice time. No, I'm going to persuade you. No, I I like you on the second line. Don't don't sass me. Ugh. You're on the second line. Thank you. Someone gets it. Thank you, Jordan. Real team player. All righty, so we're going to finish October at 5-1-3, and three, which is weird. Kind of worries me a little bit. 
because we're only really one game above 500. And now we're going up against the Storming Penguins. Oh my god, they're so good. All right, let's send through to November. Yeah, we lost to the Penguins. Ah, shocker. Grammier is going to get in concussion. I have no idea if that's how it's pronounced. I'm pretty sure it's not. That doesn't sound right. Uh, do we have any other forwards I would like to throw in? No. Okay, the Teton will go in because Muller is still recovering from his injury. So, yeah. Brandon Carlo is going to get a sore shoulder. So, we are going to see. Labar has Jack in his debut as a Milwaukee Dreadnought. And maybe he's... Debut as a uh, maybe his debut in the NHL. Nope, he played five games with the Rangers. Okay, let's we'll throw Nidavara up with Geo. Oh my god, you're playing terribly. No, we're gonna throw Larson up with Geo. <laughs> oh my god, Nidavara, what are you doing, buddy? That is terrible. That is god awful. Yeah, we're going to go Larson. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what is in the soup, apparently? Probably suck juice. Snitavar is not playing well. Suck juice. I, I love suck juice in my soup. Mmm, soup and suck juice. Oh, shit. We're not playing well. <laughs> Adrenemko gets an injured knee just to top it all off. All right, in comes Louie. Or up comes Louie. Well, I guess it can be either or. In he comes, and up he comes. So yeah, we need to figure out what the fuck's going on. <laughs> oh boy, how you doing, Halak? You're actually doing fine. They just don't care about winning in front of you. We'll put Gabo in and Madison. And what's going on here? Uh, yeah, the first line's not, it's not scoring as much as you would like. Uh, Kabanov, yeah, minus two. He's going to have his defensive issues as an NHLer. Justin to the North American Ice. Second line, not doing it as great as you want it to. Lindblom's a minus four. Stahl's a minus five. Ugh. Larson's a, okay, baby. <laughs> Did be what are you doing, Dumko, buddy? 907, that's kind of pedestrian. Okay, something's going on here. We're going to throw Perron up there. Yeah, we're going to give a little change, throw full command off down. Okay, we're in the middle of the losing streak. Uh, Let's keep him up. I'm liking him right now. Yep, that's what I thought. It's playing, whether you like it or not. Uh, we're having our issues. Okay, we're in the middle of a terrible losing streak. This is not good. Thatcher, please save us. This is not good. Uh, Louie did get into a game. He played amazing, but it, too bad our team did not care to bail him out. All right, Demko. I'm going to need you to not give up a goal. Because apparently other teams haven't gotten the message. All right, Louis Domingue clears waivers. Uh, I expected that. Okay, Derny playing fine, not amazing. How's Domingue playing down here? He's also kind of playing fine, not amazing. We beat Washington to break up this losing streak and rebound against Chicago, too. Technically, we're above NHL 500, but we're three games below real 500. Carlo's back. Thank God. And, uh... Minavara, why are you shit? <laughs> Genuine question. I won't lie when I say I'm considering scratching him. It is a thought right now. I will not lie. Oh boy. There we go. Five game winning streak. We're peace. Okay, then we lost. Okay. Yeah, Connolly, you need to be playing better. 
I think he can snap out of it. You don't like anything I say, don't you? If I try to persuade you, you're like, no, I smell your bullshit. Frank. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Alright, Bernhard, you go in. Oh yeah, we'll leave him on that first parry. Okay, Baron Hart. We'll go in. There we go. Yeah, we're we're ha okay. Kyra's also sorry. What if I persuade you? Okay, apparently I should just stop try. Oh my God, he was really not happy with management. Uh-oh. Kairu. <laughs> Buddy! Uh, how you doing? Oh my god, the second line is awful. He has zero faith in management, right? The only thing saving him is the team performance Everything else is kind of saving him. So this second line has been god-awful. So we're going to go with an interesting trick. Do I want to do that? No. You know what? We'll, we'll go with this for a little while. The Conley is a 5 goals, 4 assists, minus 4. Let's see if that improves at all. Yeah, I'm moving Kairu down because he's really not generating the offense I would like. And Nidavar, okay, good. That pairing's playing a lot better now. That terrible start to the season did not help as Halak is rewarding my faith in him right now. Let's see if he can keep it up. McCann is 20 points. Okay, so the first line's starting to come back to life. Good to see. Let's go through December, as we sadly are not in the Winter Classic this year. Very sad to see. I wish the Winter Classic was still in the game. Them taking it out is a crime to humanity. I would like to say. It is. Like, is it really that hard to have a randomly generated arena in the game? Like a football stadium with hockey? Is that too hard? I guess it is. It just might be as... Oh, Jesus. We're not doing great. We are really uh, having a misadventure, aren't we? This, this is a whoopsie. Oh, jeez. They at least beat Vancouver as Desjardins going to get a fractured jaw. Probably by... Man, I wonder how he got that on the grind line. Probably beating some dude's face in. That just makes me more proud. Alright, beat Boston. <sighs> Eric Gustafson is going to get injured. Oh, do we have? Yeah. Yep, okay. Yeah, I thought that correct. Spike Moses is going to get his pro debut. Yes. Spikey boy. <sighs> Oh, yeah, baby. Let's see what Spike can do. God damn, am I intrigued. Oh, am I intrigued. Hey, Eric. I got you on the second line right now. Is that enough? There we go. He and Anaheim won nothing. I want to say thanks, Demko, but <laughs> the way Halak's playing, that might be him. As I completely ignored who came back. That was Vanden Sopel. All right, I'm leaving Spike in. Oh, he's my thing. <laughs> yeah, that's understandable. Uh, dude's 57 overall, so that's quite understandable. But you know what? <laughs> Have fun out there, Spike. 
<laughs> oh god. How'd he do in his second game? He was on the ice for a goal. He might have actually been in the game before, but we actually can tell this time. Okay. <laughs> that was beautiful. As we have jumped to the top of the division now, which kind of happened under the radar. <laughs> I thought we were still, like, battling a wild card, but okay. Who oh, had in the teeth in play? He's playing really well, actually. That makes me tempted to throw him in Kramer. I might do that. You know, I'm going to do that. The teeth in is playing very well. So we're going to reward him. We are going to reward the guy. Uh, Kirby Doc. What? No. Kirby Reichel. Oh, Doc's on the mind. John Sebastian D is contract here? Contract here. To be fair, it's not like you're going to really make a raise. Bo Bennett's playing fine. Chubarov, 18 goals. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, 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 nice. All right. So everything seems to be going correct in Madison. And, yeah, up in Milwaukee. Oh, it is a battle between us and the Wild for leading the division. Stall. Everyone's not playing well, it seems. It, yeah. It really seems like that middle six is really struggling. Okay, we're going to beat the Senators. Ten, or ten, oh my god, I can't read. Seven nothing. As we lead the division at the end of December. And near the midway point of the season. Jared McCann's our point leaders. With uh, 13 goals, 18 assists. For 31 points in 37 games. The scoring's a bit down than what I would like to see. But if we're winning under a, def we're winning under a defensive coach. So I'm happy either way. Lindblom is playing pretty well, actually, with his uh, advanced ice time. Stall could be doing better, but at the same time, the dude's 37. So, I'm not going to blame him. Connolly has at least pulled that plus-minus up. Kabanoff is playing amazing. Plus 15. All right, so they're they're pulling it together. Uh, Kairu, yeah, Kairu and Kabanoff, they're really pulling it together. So we go into a little struggling spell. I can probably switch Lindblom and Stahl for Kairu and Kabanov again. And fourth line, Clifford's a minus seven. Ugh. Smith's a minus five in Hathaway. Ugh. Okay. Uh, if I were to put in Nason, is that a plus one at least? No. We'll try it at the very least. Just see if we can curb that. And yet, out of all of them, I would prefer uh, Leopard being scratched. But yeah. Connolly is still kind of having his struggles, but at least he's seeing offense well on the ice. So we're going to sim a little bit in as we just lost two in a row. So if we lose a couple more in a row, then I'm going to be worried as Halak's going to get an MCL sprain. And we'll not see him till February. So yeah, it's them goes Greece. Doming hopefully doesn't see the net. I mean, actually, he played really well. So you know what? In his one appearance, he played really well. So who knows? Maybe he can actually be reliable compared to Demko. Demko's put about 921. Good to see as yeah, Roman Durney's gonna uh, ha he's gonna hand uh, he's going to be the controller of the reins. I don't know if that's a saying or something, but he he hey goalie starting goalie Madison oh, 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 starting goalie Madison. I don't know what got in me there. We lose three in a row, but thankfully we slap the abs of the Leafs and then take the pens to overtime. So. That's an improvement. We are still leading the division. Yeah, especially against that win against the Avs. We kind of continue to cement our uh, standing in there. We're going to sim up to February. 
probably uh, sim a little bit more. Look at the if any offers are being made for the deadline. Actually, I can do that now. Let me sim right into the All Star Weekend and let's view the trade blocks. And let's see what I would like to upgrade because fourth line I would consider upgrading right now. I would consider upgrading fourth line. Maybe, maybe getting like a score. I think we do need one. Yeah, I think Conley might be on his way. He could be on his way out. Yeah, Lindblom's playing really good, actually. That's nice to see. So yeah, that first line playing well. Playing well. Sadly, McCann's probably not going to hit his 35 goals he did last season, but eh, who knows? He could have a big second half. He goes to Klein a little bit. Stahl's playing well. So is Cairo. So is Kabanoff. With limited minutes, too. Limited minutes. Yeah, Connolly might be on his way out, it seems. Drysdale's a plus 20. Yeah, Nason is playing amazing, actually. So maybe I don't have to look for a uh, bottom sixer. Maybe we're just really looking for that score as... Yeah, goaltending has not been a problem for us this season. Goaltending has been our strength. So let me see if there's any uh, skaters on the trade block. And yeah, you can pro uh, yeah probably leave your comments below for this one. If you got any interesting suggestions of who you see or what we should do, whether we should have faith in Connolly and continue to ride with him as uh, Charlie Coyle's on the trade dead block. He would be an interesting add because that would give us a power forward. Probably Coyle would be interesting. Same with Kreider. As the Rangers retained half his salary. Ah, that interests me, actually. <laughs> Alright, Kreider somewhat interests me. No, I'm not trading for Bergeron. Joe Thornton went back to Boston. Ad is funny. Uh, probably not trained for Krejci. He's healthy scratch for them. Oh, dear God. Where's Boston in the stand? Yeah, okay. Never mind. Boston should not be selling. Calgary, however. Not really selling any, any scores other than Prime Lucic. Oh my god, he's playing incredible down in the AHL. Uh, take that with what you will, but that's amazing as... Yep, there's Ryan Getzloff here in Chicago. Don't worry, I hate it too. I hate it too as... Ooh, Columbus is really struggling. They're willing to sell off their captain, Nick Foligno. Which... Okay, never mind. I was going to say, oh, Nick Foligno is playing really well. Maybe I will bring him in. And I see, oh, he's 34. The four-year deal. Oh, fuck that noise. Cam Atkinson's playing like Jedi Poodoo. Uh, God... <laughs> Glad the mess. Gustav Nyquist. <laughs> oh, God, Columbus. What? What the hell? Oh, Detroit selling Abdelkader. That's cool. Yeah, let me just go trade for Justin fucking Abdelkader. I could go get fucking Kovalchuk. <laughs> Why not? We can turn the clock back like 10 years. Uh, more like 13. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Kings are still selling brown. Yeah, no. It's not playing great. Minnesota. Okay, you're actually contending, so don't no reason to sell that. Let me guess. You didn't. No, you did sign Armia. I was assuming he would be like an RFA. Armia would be an interesting third line addition. I'll give him that. Ryan Johansson's being sold in Nashville. One thing I know about him in this game is he fucking sucks. I don't know why. The dude just absolutely blows in this game. Jordan Eberle is being... Uh, Pajot, Eberle, and Nelson all in Long Island still being sold on the trade block. Brock Nelson fits the second line for... I feel like... That was different before. That intrigues me. 
Brock Nelson. Okay, that really intrigues me. Bring in Brock Nelson. I won't lie. Because if he does fit on our second line, that could be big. Big if true. Uh, yeah, really no one else. Nick Benino went to Vegas, and he's playing really well. Oh. Hey, it's Patrick Marlowe. They're still in the NHL. Oh my god. Marcus Sorensen is interesting, but he only fits in the first line. Richard Ponick. Nah. Oh shit. Look at, look at that contract. Oh god, what a terrible contract. But yeah, that's all like some of the trade offers. I don't know what I'm willing to make. But yeah, uh, if you got any ideas, leave them in the comment below of what we should change on our team. Whether we should uh, do a little bit of rearranging of that middle six. Because yeah, it seems like our middle six is a mush this season. And our top, our, our top line isn't playing as well as it did last season. So we got to count for that too. Or if we should go get, say, a new grinder. Flip, uh, flip Kyle Clifford, that's his name. Maybe go get goaltending, but I don't think we need to do that. But yeah. So yeah, leave your comments below if you got any ideas. I would love to hear them. Yeah. I would like to thank you all for watching. But above all else, stay cute out there, my comrades.